everyone, it's Chris at Service Autopilot. I want to show you a new feature today. It's one I'm real excited about. It's one we've been talking about for a long time and working on, and that is giving you the ability to refund credit card payments directly within the Service Autopilot interface without actually having to do anything in your credit card merchant's terminal. You can now just refund those payments directly through Service Autopilot. So let's take a look in the system here and we'll see how this is done. So I'm going to show you two different examples of giving a refund. Now on your end, there's really not much difference between the two different examples, but I just want to kind of describe the, the nuances of each one. So I've got this client, Donald Harris, here. We can see that he has a $25 credit on his account. And if I look at the transactions here, I see that there was an invoice for $75. And I'll just pull it up here really quick. It's stamped as paid, of course. This was for a cleaning service, $75. But I see underneath it that the payment was actually made for $100. So this is what we would call an overpayment. So this is one method of refunding. Let's say I just want to refund the overpayment on the invoice, so the $25 extra. So what I can do is click on the payment, and we'll now see a button here at the top that says refund. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you don't see a refund button, maybe yours says void instead. In order to refund a charge, the payment has to be settled. Now, of course, there's really nothing you have to do to go manually settle payments. That's something that happens automatically. But just know that if the payment happened like very recently, like in, in that same day, you might not get an option to refund it because it hasn't yet been settled and therefore you could just void the payment. So we see the option that says refund. That means the payment's been settled. And now I can click refund. And now I get the option to define if this is a full refund, like if we're going to refund the full amount or the invoiced amount rather, or if we're just refunding the overpayment. Now in this case, again, I don't want to credit back the $75 to them. I just want to credit back the $25 overpayment. So I click overpayment. And now all I have to do is just double check and make sure everything looks the way that I want it to. I don't need to add any line items to this example because again, we're not crediting back work that was done. We're just crediting back the overpayment. So I can simply just click save. It'll process the refund and show me that a credit has been saved. So now let me close this down. And I see some things that happened here. I still see the payment for $100. I still see that the invoice amount is $75. And I see a payment refund of $25. And notice now here at the top, the credit is now gone as well. So we've refunded the overpaid amount. So let's take a look at another example. I'm going to go to a client named Edward Martinez. Now in this case, notice that he has no credit on his account. His account is paid in full. But let's say for wh whatever reason, we need to actually refund this payment. Maybe he complained about service, we felt the complaint was legitimate, and so we want to refund him for what we did. Now, the process here is very similar. There's just one slight difference. What I'll do here is, again, pull up the payment. We can see here's the invoice for $100. Here's the payment for $100. So again, I just pull up the invoice, or excuse me, the payment that I wish to refund. Again, I see the refund button here at the top. I can click it. And this assumes now, because the payment was fully applied to an existing invoice, this assumes that we're giving either a full or a partial refund and that we want to credit back the service that we performed. So notice here, I didn't have to even select anything. The system just assumes that we're crediting back cleaning service because that was the line item on the invoice that we're refunding. So I don't have to do anything with that. Again, I just check and see that everything looks the way that I want it to look. Now, if I didn't want to, to fully refund this, if I was going to say just refund him half of the charge, then I could edit this amount here. I'm not stuck with the full amount. I could send this down to $50, and therefore we would still have 
that $50 in revenue, and then we would just refund the remaining $50. But in this case, I'm going to give him a full refund for the $100. So again, I just look, make sure it looks the way I want it to, and click save. The reason, just a quick explanation of, of this, the reason that it's important that this item is here, and the reason that we just assume that that's the service that you're refunding, is so that you don't see that revenue showing up on your profit and loss report down the road. Or even there's various reports that will show you, you know, income by specific service types, et cetera. Well, if you refund that money, then it's not, necess it's not technically income. So having the line item here automatically withdraws that money, or excuse me, it removes that money from any reports that it might show up on. So that's why that's important to be there. Again, you don't have to edit this. You can change it if you want to, um, but the system assumes that you're refunding the line item that was on the invoice that the payment was applied to. So again, I just click save, and it's going to process the credit. Perfect, so now I see here that the credit's been saved, and I can close this down. And again, we see here that we have a credit refund. Again, that's important for the reporting purposes so that the system knows to withdraw that money from the line item. And then I also see our payment credit, of course. This is just to keep the books balanced if you're looking at your general ledger so you can see all the money in and the money back out. So this is how you make partial and full refunds as well as just overpayment refunds inside of Service Autopilot. Couple of rem reminders, again, the payments do have to be settled in order for you to even get the option to refund that, that payment. And then also, you do have the two different options of refunding just an overpayment in which it's not going to affect any of your profit and loss reports as far as invoiced income by service or anything like that. But then you also have the option to go ahead and credit back a specific service type or a line item type. So hopefully this has been helpful. I know a lot of people have been looking for this feature for a while, so I'm glad we got it out to you guys. Let us know what. Let us know if it's working for you. Give us feedback. Um, thanks for watching. We hope, like I said, we hope this has been beneficial to you. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our blog. We're putting content like this up all the time. Nice little how-to videos and tips and tricks and things like that. So definitely check it out. Once again, my name's Chris. Thanks for watching and have a great day.